Okay, here we go, here we go. More action, more action for the blade lovers here. Okay, so we got the smash it and feel knife GP survival set. And then we got the uh, Bushmaster, Bushmaster, Bushcraft smash it. So Bushmaster, Bushcraft smash it. Okay, and uh, you see, see 90 cutlery product, and uh, right there on the corner, United Cutlery. So they're both made by United Cutlery, you know. And this one's a two-piece, two-piece set, and it's called the Colombian Survival, okay. Uh, I've seen this on a few channels. One gentleman with Slingshot channel, that's and um, a couple other channels. See, I think he got this one. Yeah, that's the one he got. Did another channel. I seen this one on. And they did pretty good reviews on them. And um, they let me know they were good products. So uh, this is this one. The Colombian Survival Survival Blade. It's a good good thickness. Tape it at the top, awesome point. Reminds me of a uh, Filipino style martial arts weapon, a barong. It's got a good rubberized handle, good rubberized texture. Got some some pins in there to screw it in for the, to the tang, the full tang that it's, that it's uh, exposed all the way through the pommel. Okay, so you can use that for striking. Okay, it's rubberized with some kind of hard plastic underneath it there. That's not some kind of hard, really hard type TPA type or whatever that whatever type of plastic. It's a, it's a tough plastic. And this is a rubberized overlay for comfort. It makes feels real comfortable in the hand. And this is carbon steel. This is uh 1065 hot carbon steel. Okay. And it's made in China. So yeah. It's a good looking blade, good heft to it. It's uh, in the machete class of uh, cutlery, but it's well worth the money. Paid $22 for it. And along with that came a good sheath, sheath system, and a little knife, similar to the Mora knives. Then our piggybacks on the sheath. It's also made out of 1065 out carbon steel. So yeah, and they got nice lanyards on them, already put on them. Made out of some type of cord. I don't know if it's paracord or not, but it's it's good texture, it's good quality. They both have that. Yeah, this is just a, a much smaller knife version of the bigger machete. Ergonomic. Got a lip on there for, for you keep your hand on. It's no jimping on it, but it doesn't need it because the good rubberized handle. Well, any type of carving needs you might have if you're ever in something, some sort of a survival situation and you need blades to survive. You definitely want a blade if you're out in the wild. Even if you're just out and about. Yo, you want something for defensive purposes or whatever else you might need them for. But yeah, that's that one. Now we got this one. This one's thicker. This one happens to at the current time be no longer available. Slight little flaws, a little gap there. A little gap in there. Just minor stuff, you know, that you would expect for a knife that's 20, $22. Okay? But it's the blade, the the metal that you that I'm more concerned with, and this is 10.95 high carbon steel, and like I say, it's it's, it's um, substantially thicker than that one. It's tapered at the top for good piercing. Got a very good tip on it. Very good. I like the coating they put on it to protect the metal. Substantial, really good heft. That one's got. Good half. This one's got even better. If you like a heavier blade, 
this is a very good one because it could become it could come become available again. Never underestimate that. I've seen it happen too many times. Uh, got two good rivets in there in the wood. One here, one right there, and then it's got a uh, a good landed tube which also holds the uh, the handle in place. But this is a uh, wow. This is a machete, but it's got the half of a of a kukri. Damn near. I don't mean to cuss, but it's it's pretty heavy. It's got a nice half. This is a um this fits in this would fit really, really truly fit in the class of one of those Filipino type weapons. The traditional Filipino martial arts style weapons right here, even though they call it the smash it. You can see it's designed at the uh, barong with with the curved blade at the tip at the point, just like that one. And this is the uh, package. This one is carried in. This is Sheaf. Bushmaster Survival. Quality. It's quality. For, any, for, for the budget price they selling these for, it's quality. You can't go wrong. I'm glad I got it. I know they still had that one available. And if uh, some good fortune comes my way, I'll probably scoop up another one because I like I like to have two, two implements of... Uh, something that I really like. So just having one is fine, but if you got two, then you can, you got two hands. And when you practice, most martial arts, when you practice with a weapon, if you're practicing in the lightweight weapons, you, you practice with one in each hand. If they more heavier and longer weapons, then you probably only practice with one. You know, like in uh, Wing Chun, they use the butterfly swords, the butterfly knives as they call them. They have one in each hand, they use two. And everything you can do with a butterfly knife, if you're a Wing Chun practitioner, you can do with these and probably do them just as efficiently. So um, just wanted to bring that to the attention of people who like uh, bladed implements and let you know that this one's still available on, um, on Amazon. You know, it's still in stock. And this one I got from the same distributor and it's no longer available. This is the one that everybody was coveting because of the 1095. You know, so of course this one's gonna go quick. If, if they only have the money to buy the one, they're gonna buy this one. And that's probably what happened. Whereas they still have some of these available. I don't know for how long, I don't think they're gonna last very long. If they do, that's good. The longer they last, the better. Let me now have a chance to get me another one. But as for now, uh, that's the only one available. And I would say if you have the money and you like this type of item, jump right on it. So with that being said, peace, take care, and have a good day.